Now, some of the simplest dishes are the nicest. Now, this is an old dish that I've been doing for years, I must admit. I'm supposed to say I just discovered it yesterday. Well, I didn't. I've been doing it for years. And it's just a really nice piece of fish. In this case, I've got some lovely fresh barramundi, and I'm going to put a crispy skin on it. And it is then served with a really summery sauce veg. Now, I actually first saw this recipe in a book by Roger Verger, who was one of the famous chefs of the, I suppose, 70s, 80s. French, of course. And he did wonderful, very summery food. Mediterranean, I suppose, as opposed to pure French. So with the fish, what you do, you can do some cuts. I don't know whether you see people doing cuts, they reckon that's good, I don't. I just scrape the skin, make sure the scales are all off. You know, ask your fishmonger, and then just wipe it so it's actually really nice and dry. A nice small pan, just nice and hot, and we start off, obviously, with the skin side down. Now, your biggest problem when you try to do a crisp skin is it'll bubble up, and because of that, it'll bubble up and part of it won't cook. So what we do is we put another pan of the same size on top, and we just press it down. You don't have to press it down for very long, a few minutes. It'll flatten it out, and when it flattens it out, it'll make sure that the skin is actually right on the surface of the pan. And to that, I'll then add some salt, quite a bit, a little bit of lemon. Not too much, because there's lemon in, in my dressing. And we just cook it. Now, is it looking good? Yes, it's looking good. I'll just turn that down a bit. I don't want to burn my skin. I want it nice and crispy, but I don't want to burn it. Next, I've just got some beans there, which I'm just going to throw in the pot on the back because I've got that boiling and it's salted and they will just go on the plate with this. But the main thing I'm going to do now is going to make the dressing. Now, the main thing about the dressing, what's the main thing? Just <laughs> the thing that's so important is top quality olive oil because that's the base of this dressing. So I've got some from my mates at the Hunter Valley Olive Oil Company. Beautiful olive oil. So a good slurp of that. Squeeze a lemon, some fresh basil, just slice. So nice basil leaves. Don't use any of those, those shitty ones. Just use the good stuff. And some cherry tomatoes cut in quarters. Some salt and some pepper. And we just mix that up. That's all there is to it, guys. I told you it's simple. And if you feel that you need a little bit more olive oil, which I do, you have my permission to add it. Now, our fish, let's just have a look at this. Because as I said, you don't want to burn it. You want a nice, oh, look at that. See, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect, guys. I'm doing very well today. <laughs> now, I'm just going to taste my dressing to make sure that it's seasoned properly. Oh, that's good oil. A little bit more salt, just a smidgen. Oh, I like that. Guys, I hate to tell you, but once this fish is cooked, it needs a little bit more. Always take the fish off a little bit before it's undercooked, because it's not dissimilar to a steak in the fact that it will keep on cooking once you remove it from the heat. So always do that. And the beans should be ready. Nice crisp beans, please. Don't overcook them. Nothing worse than overcooked beans. Look at our fish which I reckon is about ready. What do you reckon, James? Yeah, James is pretty happy with it too. Yep. On top of that. And then, lots, and I say lots of this dressing. <laughs> Making sure we've got all the tomatoes and the basil. On. All those good things. Now, what would I serve with that? I reckon a glass of sparkling, actually. I know that sounds a bit strange, but I reckon a good glass of sparkling would go absolutely beautifully with that. Beautiful fish, taste of summer, but you can have it any time of the year, I don't mind. <laughs>